Hey, hey, everybody, it's Eddie from Tokyo. This is your cryptocurrency update from Japan. It's Sunday. I was going to take the day off, but there were two requests yesterday that resonated with me, one of which was please do more translated articles and also can you do it in 10 minutes or less. So the 10 minutes or less is what uh, has brought me to the challenge. I just couldn't help but okay, 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 I'll try 10 minutes or less. And the translated articles, okay, no problem. So here we go. This is the story. Everybody, uh, there is a virtual currency that is used by a mobile app called BitBank and they have a big promotion that they have extended until uh, September 30th, 2018. And it is a virtual uh, pairing with um, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Ripple, Monocoin, very popular here, and Bitcoin Cash. Bitcoin Cash, you'll notice the logo is a little different, but this is the logo that's used very often in Japan. So why is this important? Well, this campaign has, for the first time in, his, in its history, Japanese Bitcoin and cryptocurrency company BitBank uh, accomplished world number one in Ripple's official trading volume ranking on the XRP market statistics for the past 30 days. This was released on May 31st, 2018, so just about 10 days ago. And um, BitBank was the number one uh, transaction with over 2 billion XRP transacted, which is about 16.7% of the market. It's huge. It's big news. This isn't being covered because, unfortunately, the BitBank um, website is not translated into English and it's just kind of going under the radar. But you can see here, this is their website and Zero. This is the Zero campaign that they are running. And when we come down here, you can see that these are the coins that you can um, pair. So this is a Toriat Sky Scott pair which means that you can go straight from um, XRP to Yen and Litecoin to BTC. Ethereum is paired with uh, BTC. Monocoin is paired with Yen. And then BCH is paired with uh, Yen and BTC. So this is, this is really the news um, within uh, what's going on with Ripple right now. And so I know that we're going to see the same with SBI in the VC trade site that's coming um, shortly. But right now, this is what's happening. So, okay, I'll show you something really quick. This is funny. I'm going to suggest that, wow, that's big, too big, too big, too big. Okay, let's go down a little bit. All right, um, I'm gonna give you two Japanese words that are also important when you do a search in Japanese, and that's, um, Kasao Ska, which means virtual currency. And what's really, really fun to look at is the kanji. And so this isn't a Japanese lesson, but this is maybe a little bit of a Japanese lesson. So I'll go, I'll go quickly. The first kanji uh, in Kasao is sham, <laughs> temporary, interim, assumed, or informal. One kanji can have many, many different meanings. meanings. So we've got Kasao, and then the second kanji, soul, means the concept to think. Of course, we have ska, which is just typical for currency, which means to pass through, to commute, to count. It's a counter for letters, documents, etc. And so it passes through things like freight, goods, and property, which is the last kanji of the four. So. I'm going to put this kanji down in the comment section. Please remember to take those, paste it into Google, and what you will find is, this is what I did just about five minutes ago. I have 48 million matches, and so you can get news that's just hot off the press. Here's three hours ago some news about EOS. Here's some news. This is just a basic virtual currency news. This is the news that's breaking out of Korea with some investigations. So if you use that kanji, you are well equipped yourself to find out what's going on in Japan. All right, next story up.
I was looking for something something to translate, and I found that um, Yoshitaka Kitao is going to speak at the Japan Blockchain Conference that starts uh, the end of this month on the 26th. It's on a Tuesday and Wednesday, 26th and 27th. This was just announced by the Sankei Shimbun. Sankei is also something I want to connect in the end of this story, which is very important for people who are speaking English. Okay, so when we go to the blockchain website, this is the big conference. I'm going. It's going to happen on that Tuesday and Wednesday, as I said. So 16 days, 11 hours, 54 minutes and 57 seconds. And when we take a look at the guest speakers, yeah, so the keynote speaker is Mr. Kitao from SBI Holdings. And I'm so looking forward to seeing not only him, but so many of the great lineups that they have. All right. Wow. I just can't wait. I just can't wait. All right. So I will put the link to this in the comment section as well. All right. Back to the connection with um, Sankei. Sankei is a paper here that covers news uh, slightly different than some of the other um, medias. And they recently launched a website called japan-forward.com. Please, please take a look. And because if you want to get um, coverage on an angle that isn't always shown in Japan, I can guarantee you this is the website that's going to do it for you. So they have a diplomacy and security portion, politics, economy, culture and society, special reports, and then a little of the soft fluff. There is a blog. Um, it does have the writer's bios. It's really a superb resource for you regarding news in Japan. All right. That link will be down in the comment section if you forget japan-forward.com. Coinbase. So, so much of the news about Coinbase coming to Japan. I just want to remind everybody back on 2016, we had this story that Coinbase received 10.5 million investment from the Bank of Tokyo, which was UFJ, and two others. So, you know, the writing has been on the wall. Uh, it's just kind of interesting to me how much hype has been behind this particular story. So Bitcoin exchange Coinbase said on Thursday it had received a 10 million, a $10.5 million investment from the Bank of Tokyo Mitsubishi UFJ and the bank's Mitsubishi UFJ capital unit and Sozo Ventures. Sozo Ventures. Okay. Don't forget. All right. One, two, Sozo Ventures. We can see that here is their investment records sheet. We can see that on July 7th, they were part of a venture round of funding and that money went to Coinbase. But what's interesting is back on October 1st, 2012, they gave some money to Plantier Technologies. Now, Plantier Technologies, who is it? You know who is behind Plantier. This Peter Thiel. Peter Thiel right now, who is the uh, founder of, co-founder of PayPal, as everybody knows, is really an interesting entrepreneur. I have a, yeah, he's a libertarian too. I have great respect for him and what he's accomplished in his um, life. His bio, which I want, I, I had printed it out so I could read you some high points, um, but I'm not going to because I promised I would keep this under 10 minutes. But this book has been translated into Japanese. It's one of the most popular business books right now. The Japanese title is The Ambition of the Rebellious Entrepreneur That Took Hold of the World. So books very often change the titles when they come to Japan, which is no big deal, but sometimes there's a little bit of um, uh, confusion because the original book was uh, in another title. Um, when it was released in the West. Okay, so Peter Thiel, Peter owns uh, Plantier. Plantier is a company that does really 
big data analysis. And uh, so my point is, is that so many of these people are connected behind the scenes. And I think you need to take a look at or, or, or to critically think, how does someone like Peter have uh, some influence on not only Coinbase, but on how everything evolves with its growth in Asia. So I, I just I just think we have to remember the connections. All right, last but not least. Wow, I think I'm actually going to do it. Um, this was uploaded on the 1st of June, and it was a very short uh, five-minute uh, speech or talk that Peter gave at Stanford University. And I just want to leave you with the core thought. I know if I put the link in the comment section, chances are you're not going to listen to it. So I just want to point out what I thought was the biggest message in his uh, five minutes of speaking. He's a deep thinker, by the way. So he says, competition does make you better at that thing. So when you are focused, you are focused on maybe a very narrow thing, very small, very one thing. So yes, it does make you better at that thing. And it comes at a tremendous price. Sometimes he believes that you lose sight of what's important and valuable. So I think he's talking about that you get so focused that you lose track of what's going on around you. So instead of trying to rush through the narrow door, he says, why don't you try to go around the corner through the vast gate? Okay, I'll leave you with that thought. Everybody, take care. I am off to the gym. Talk to you later and have a great weekend. Sayonara for now. Bye-bye.